Yes friends, uh, thanks for joining in. Mwe wale teyungako, unako lwalero. Yes. We will not move on until all citizens finally have an eco shot at succeeding in life, regardless of their circumstances. If you had a big gambo bia, honorable Francis Zakebutebi, MP, Mitiana Municipality. Then, Gayada be syndicator, dictator Museveni Kawenkin. Never know, of course, we'll never have Ganabo, but Lugunyanabo in C Uganda. Gera Gamba, Tetu Jack moving on. Pakanga, Bulimuna Uganda, Obani, Obani. Yenkana nkana ne mune. Nga buli omwa ina iku opportunities. Ngo wana chema li dabuwe deomu siya feno Uganda. Oba butia, oba tutia, we shall not move on. So, e yade message nkuru era jimu sindike de gulu. Mulete yade mpamfu nyo jinjagalo baiti da iti damu. Tujitemete mu mpola mpola. Omanyi, okufamu seven we yelaiza. Nga waduwe bimundu, waduwa masasi, abamaje, polisi. Nga iba kwa atiri de ulichimu. You know, pa kwa de. Bakwati the street season days of Uganda will moon to a limayumba gave first public holiday. Go mabida being a tewalina muntunoma, Jaguza, Tewana muntunoma, Sanuka, Gatwalina muntunom, Okujaka, the wagons and about the wad descent of again. They, you know, Gatu, of course, be often a much into the beneficiaries of this dictatorship. Be Baba de Ngabola and Gabayina cook a first smile. Anyway, away from that, Honorable Francis Zaka send this message in Kambwe. Hey, I take you money. Ayogera kati. Tatia. Yabita ita muda. Abisemu iracha abita musajja watu. Agambie. We will not move on. Until all the citizens finally have an equal shot. At succeeding in life regardless of uh, their circumstances. Yeah. I want us to go through this letter. That Honorable Zake wrote to Dictator Mseveni. Eba denunji. Iranga. Wenamala okuji ita ita mu. Nina kula gawa. Uwe di kusawe no, imikutu kwa tujita de, jiosolo jisangamu audio, wa wana wana wana. Ok, let us go through this. Uh, at, uh, uh, gundi ya jitandi sebu ati, if, I'm to, if you want to actually see it, ugenda bugenzi ku Facebook page ye, ujaji sangayo. Open letter to dictator, yoweli, kaguta, museveni. Irange gamba, dear jino museveni, I was born six years after you lied, looted, and murdered your way into power. I went through school under your rule with the relative ease for mine where, where parents of some means. But while that may have been so, I reached the apex of your education system only to look back and see that most of my childhood friends had not proceeded to advanced level, let alone to university. I was succeeding alone. That was not okay. So, I engaged many of them only to realize that although I went to some of the best schools I could under my circumstances, not everyone I met there necessarily came from a well-to-do family. Most of them with whom I was at university could not find gainful employment, however brilliant they had been in school. Yet they lacked the wherewithal and social support to operate private businesses. This is due to the polluted investment climate for local entrepreneurs characterized by a cocktail of burdensome taxes, absence of the rule of law, and political uncertainty. In a country like ours, the main impediment to young people's aspirations tends to be bad leadership. Yet that is exactly what many youths have unconsciously grown up under with you fi with you fixed at the helm of our country i thus felt that it behooved me as a person surrounded by abundance to participate in causes that would equally give my despairing age mates a fighting chance in life so i joined parliament at the age of 23 and immediately identified with the opposition because I did not trust that our problems could be solved by the same leadership that created or incumbent, incubated them. Once in parliament, I yearned to have a president of my generation. One that would emphasize with the struggles youth fight on a daily basis to stay alive. I felt that such a person would then be best suited to lead us in the struggle of salvaging our future. 
That is why, among other reasons, I immediately embraced Honorable Robert Chagulani when he joined active politics. It did not occur to me at that time that this union would mark the beginning of a self-perpetuating cycle of state violence against me, rationalized by state-sponsored forest propaganda. It began with the 2017 debate of the age limit bill. When you unleashed your SFC bodyguards against us on the floor of parliament, it escalated during the 2018 Arab election campaigns that have since turned into a nightmare for me. Acting on what you, you certainly knew to be false propaganda claiming that we had destroyed your car. You once again set upon us your bodyguards who tortured and left us for dead. Your security men have tortured me on at least two more occasions since then, with the latest being the April 2020 incident when I was dehumanized for distributing food to my neighbors. Hardly had I recovered than your guards abducted me, transferred me to northern Uganda, and had me charged with escaping from lawful custody, all so that you could maintain the forest propaganda against my character. But as if physically violating my person has not been enough for you, you've gone a step further to destroy my reputation, such that the public sees me as legitimate target of excessive force rather than the helpless victim of torture that many of my fellow youths and I have been on all occasions. Your propaganda machine has in some respect succeeded in casting me as an indisciplined, law-breaking young man. That either that either I'm, I'm, I'm reckless or I torture myself to earn sympathy or I conduct myself in so dishonorable a manner that every time security personnel interface with me, they must leave me totaling on life's edge. In so doing, your regime deflects the public's attention away from the critical issues of governance that I seek to raise on behalf of my fellow young people and instead casts that, that, that attention upon the false image of me that you have created for unsuspecting members of the public. Yet I have not been the only victim of this pernicious propaganda as Dr. VSJ and Honorable Chagulani have suffered worse. When your prison guards at Chitali received my comrade Nobian Lee and 35 other members of Honorable Chagulani's 2021 presidential campaign team jailed there for the last six months, they subjected them to the most cruel and dehumanizing treatment. The mistreatment included stripping them but naked and then shaving off their hair in deliberate dis disregard of the prisons act which requires prison officials to keep their hair to, uh, to keep the hair of prisoners awaiting trial in the same state as it was on admission as it was in the admission the prison the prison warders did this to teach my comrades a lesson partly because your propaganda machine had convinced them that the Nubians were violent criminals and partly because the waters have been employed for far too long by a regime that pays no respect to the most basic citizens' rights. I thought I thought that if Parliament visited these prisoners of conscience, their suffering would be alleviated. But their prison conditions instead became worse. They are now isolated from each other and some of their leaders are reportedly stripped every night and sodomized. They have not only lost their liberty but also lost their families either to death or despair. By the time they regain their freedom, many will have lost their jobs to or businesses. You have answered their pleas for a secure future with persecution. When we accompanied our leader, Honorable Chagulan, to his presidential campaigns, our intention was not to spread disease, cause violence, or subvert government like your propaganda machine for us reclaimed. We did so in good faith, acting in pursuit of our constitutional rights and duties. But rather than protect us on the campaign trail as any leader in your position should have done, you terrorized us.
You turned your highways and venues of our campaign meetings into war zones while maintaining before the public a face a fuck it of a peace loving statesman battling terrorists. Being the deceitful coward that you are, you hid behind COVID nineteen to per to perpetrate devastating violence against unarmed groups of youths singing freedom songs. Even when hundreds of bullet bullet riddled bodies lay in the wake of your brutal military operation against our campaigns, you did not feel satisfied enough until you had locked up thousands of those who survived. I did not know that this is how military generals worth their assault act. Having reached the election, you went ahead to swear yourself in while surrounded by federal dictators and a few development partners who attended the function out of quotas rather than out of genuine conviction that you won the election. And then your message suddenly changed. You are now telling us to move on and return to work because politics has ended. But how do we move on like you never hijacked our will? How do we move on when thousands of our peers and leaders that we are seized on your orders are still languishing in detention? How do grieve stricken families of the people your security forces massacred move on without getting justice? How do we move on when the issues that brought us into the struggle are still unresolved? As someone who took an oath to not recognize any regime that illegally imposes itself on the people of Uganda, I shall not move on until these questions are decisively answered in the people's favor. So we will, we will not move on until all citizens finally have an equal shot at succeeding in life regardless of their circumstances. Zake Francis MP Mitiana Municipality, free all political prisoners, bring back our people who are moving elected. Those are the hashtags. And some people in the comment section actually uh, continue to uh, say we shall not move on, move on alone. After all, even if we wanted to move on, we are bruised, broken, and weakened. We shall not move on, but we are staying focused on the cause. Someone says, Bunjo Sylvia, how dare we move on? Yet the reason to why we are in the struggle is not yet finished. An election thief telling us to move on. Is he the one who called us to join politics? That old fashioned idiot? Kituwa to Bafe. I feel so frustrated for Museven and his supporters. They are all stupid, cowardly thinking that Uganda can change, can never change, be there without that proto dictator. Anyway, all of course, uh, mm, our comments are in the support of DC uh, later that Honorable Francis Zake. I wrote to dictator M7 and someone else says thanks to uh, MP Zake Francis Peter before the open letter of the dictator. It shows what this country needs to reinvent itself. Note that M7 will never change his evil ways. An armpit can't smell itself. Wow. Anyway, uh, trying to maybe translate it in Uganda. Honorable Francis Zake literally ali kutegeza dictator m7 ntie bibi ali ko yerimba kuba buye mazo kwela iza ya is not statements za government kati to be politics ya we dey to tell to call and all that kind of thing to so bola to tia okwegamba okubiva ko ngo to dembula mbwa buli jo nga baganda bafe bacha vundira makomera nga families za bana abati bwe nkumuli tu Zichi ali muchi yongo bero tezifu na angabu enkanya Nga baba tabali kuma street bata ambula Bari ya bichepele ba beya gala Nga ateba manji dua So bunobuta libu enkanya Obwa na chema lira Nga tebu naba kugwao Echita abantu Ebula liye milimo Evizi ubyo nago yumanyi vyo Omanyu oda kao nawe na ufumiteza muna ugamba Na hii Uganda edinga wa ino kovera Nawe ansa esoko kujira muli ugamba neda Uwe buze chibu uzo luwachi Era answer ujeda munti tizimu seven over leadership problem. Kati ngevi nitu yewe tevina wa kufao agawala ite tusola kumovinga on. Era te wale kumovinga on. So mseven alimu kwe kubia wale kubia yaka. Just kuhindu wikinga haba nitu haba mwabali soft hearted. Na haba nitu miti majibijaka luba. Tetujia kumovinga on. 
or moving out your own. I have liked this statement so much. You are telling us now to move on and return to work because politics has ended. But how do we move on like you've never hijacked our will to moving out your own? Gachiri nganti of wangu zibuafe. Oba necho chetuwa sala wo. Wachiri nyake gere. Gokoze se mundu. Gokoze sa maje. Gokoze sa polisi. Gokoze sa LOD. Gokoze sa military. Gokoze sa vitongo levia. Evitongo levia andiba debi kumye dembe. Nenga wabifu levitongo 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 dembe. So, wanarevo Francis Ake. Agamba tevi naba kugwa. In brief. Atenge de chitufu. Tevi naba kugwa. Paka anga biwede. Nebi genda kugwa bitia. Bigena kugwa anga mseveni. Avude kufuzi. Nga Uganda. Etele de. Eri mu direction in tufu. Jihino kudamu. Aba ntu aba anji balu uza chine chintu chizivu. Nemu nange. It always seems impossible until it is done. Na weke njini njini olabi yensi. Ezi chuse. Mpiti divu nyo. Tewali mbeda ya aluwelela. Na ye mbeda ye tali ya aluwelela. Okuchuka. Techija. Buzi. Nga te, techife singi dua. Oh, you know, chief singer. So, to get a mass on that, but to get a mass on that, to call it, you need to know, call it, you know, call it. Into being, it was a two caller, to get a mass on that, to be caller. Go to night, much over the old language caller. Gain a mass on go to So, Francis Akagamba, we will not move on, no. Until each and every Ugandan, until all the citizens finally have an equal shot at succeeding in life regardless of their circumstances that is the message what is your opinion uh, uh, let, let us chat in the comment section below and you also give me your opinion because the fact of the matter we are saying we will not move on until all citizens finally have an equal shot at succeeding in life regardless of their circumstances what is your view this is honorable francis is view for you what is your view in the comment section below to chatting him like a goro was achi. Stegger, goro was achi. A barueno, seven, I mean, uh, Zakaja one decadem seven, or Soroji Sanga, who of course created the channel, Query, Rongino, or Soroji Sanga, who website here, fe, that is the WW. Well, Gendaku, Gendab gains the Kugugo, can't go again. Gendab gains the Kugugo, uh, or take him at jbw www dot jbmong dot com dot com. On you get enter Bulonji, but in the Kuleti Dalete, yes, okay, the Lakovajan Akateka yo. Articles in Oziva Nunji no, no, keeping them archives in Zivanga JZD for reference purposes. Says, I attend our about a water solar Kukuzifuna ku Facebook, Navata solar Zifuna ku YouTube, Navata solar Zifuna ku, also the Jifuna ku audio. It will kill the Bulonji once. Ah, or just sang a yo audio. You know, you translate in the name, take audio. Ah. Bulonji nyo. Osoro uji downloading and uji sharing akone muno. Uh, yeah, of course. Ne articles in the lampiti. When you just, you just sang. Go, or take a mbutes www.jbmonge.com Ulichimodja kubo chilaba. Eh, gundi nyingi nyo. The first report. Wali na report. Uh, Baganda afaba kwa report kukaluka na kabibwa. Yeah, report yon nange ngiri akaluje kabibwa mu. Ujaji sanga yo. Eh, Repo, engeri ya karuje kabibu wamu. You know, an investigation into bribery, intimidation, violence, ballot box stuffing, and fraud, it, and fraud during the 2021 uh, elections. Yiyo. Genda yo, jidownloading, jispreading. Hapa ntubategele chari chitia. Eri so detailed. Buli evidence yona ya tere duamu. Zi affidavit hizo na mwezili. Video zona 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 mwezili. Buli chimu mwechili. Kwe gamba. How Bobby Wine managed to win mu seven with 54.19%. Nga. Tuko zesa ezo zugundi. Ezo seven. Uh, uh, gundi ze tuafu na okuva mwitunde. Vye nja ulo. The dear forms ngate weche when you sent more than seven thousand of them buzz confiscating more than that. I think an easy nini nini does any more quigambo would be a witch talo. Neate ne chijaku point in Tiatina corner more to a more one good amo. Cholanga bo Chava Sukuma cobu in the bagambo money. Zino results to his vehicle V 
tusomeza fe badja zikirizo baba agalo bate baga era yabaka mu bamu bozanga mu wabi somyo bijjawa agawala ngana naita mancha kudamu so buli kimu mwe kiri video zona mwe zili video bona mwe buli buli kimu mwe kiri gendo ji downloading it's it's a report it's an investigative report genda yo kujajisa ujajisa ngai ro ji downloading yeah Mabiga kao na mkulembizi wa fea video Ne atike eno na yona jiteka yo Gagamba Uganda can only progress Without Museven And that is our president Chagulani Senator Mo Robert That Uganda can only progress Without Museven That was his excellence Bobby Wine Gendo some Gendo download inge Hira naenda jitani nze into audio Neku YouTube kono kweri bulu unji nyo Yeah Okay guys Um what it is also you sang a cool anchor dot fm would use a face on a zona or children also let's sang a cool anchor dot uh fm or get up against anchor dot fm no no yeah jb mongo take a test then again that cool let me see if you can get it here take a moment jb mongo anchor dot fm so we have a jacolated yeah 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 soccer ah Jiraba, ujaz ujaz sanga yobulu ni nyo, ubatu yaga la kuli da kusoma, usolo kuli da mu audio. Zizo zona 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 audio kwe zidi. Ujaji sanga ku breaker, ujaji sanga ku Google Podcast si, ujaji sanga ku Pocket Cast si, ujaji sanga ku Radio Public, ujaji sanga ku Spotify, ne ku RSS. So, chino nchikole da abata sowa la kusoma. Mani abantu ba mu chizibu okusoma. Uh, gundi empanvu. Some people don't want to read long articles and long letters and you know discussions. So uh, I always sit and uh, convert these articles and the uh, you know letters and of course discussions into audio, such that it becomes easier for someone to download and share on WhatsApp, as well as simply just plug in their earphones and you know listen to what's being said. See, cutting gene ya Francis zake. Wait, we inzoku bera kamba kubire koko. Uh, we will not move on yeah. until all citizens finally have an equal shot at succeeding in life regardless of their circumstances. Until Uganda is free of dictatorship, Hanzik. Open letter to dictator Yoweri K. Gita Museveni. Dear General Museveni. I was born six years after you lied, looted and murdered your way into power. I went through school, under your rule, with relative ease, for mine were parents of some means. But while that may have been so, I reached the apex of our education system only to look back and see that most of my childhood friends had not proceeded to advanced level, let alone to university. I was succeeding alone. That was not okay. So I engaged many of them, only to realize that although I went to some of the best schools I could under my circumstances, not everyone I met there necessarily came from a well-to-do family. Most of those with whom I was at university could not find gainful employment however brilliant they had been in school. Yet they lack the wherewithal and social support to operate private businesses. This, due to the polluted investment climate for local entrepreneurs characterized by a cocktail of burdensome taxes, absence of the rule of law, and political uncertainty. In a country like ours, the main impediment to young people's aspirations tends to be bad leadership, yet that is exactly what many youth have unconsciously grown up under with you fixed at the helm of our country. Okay, basically, uh, wait yo, uh, wait yo kubela, a podcast jentila okola, over conversion jentila okola from texti, ne nji kutela mu audio blonji na ulida. Gia mugene muzi search inge yo muzi ulide, ne ku twitter, gugenda bugenzi tukui twitter, no kebeda. Yeah. Oja kusanga yo blonji. Go search inga bu search inzi. Je bimongo jamu funa kutwita zona zona na yenzi ya linga yo ila zizo bulonji ya zili mubuzi sasa nye tufuku la bantino message yenu teko mabukomi ku facebook teko mabukomi ku social media wabula ebu na nego winga beyond borders is a social media kuwa search an audio you can download it and share it on whatsapp that means someone can put it on a cd or on a flash disk on someone's phone neka spreading ga so it is to 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 make sure that anti te te be come across social media koka wabula bigende beyond social media understand eh so basically checho 
we walala wenzo jisanga youtube na kugambia yoda tuwe labila kusubscribe inga shukuru nyo mnyiga mnyi subscribe button ni na webe redamu alright guys uh, let me hope i've exhausted each and everything that i wanted to uh, say to you today na inga the fact of the matter is we will not move on until all citizens finally have an equal shot at succeeding in life regardless of their circumstances that is Juan Leo Francis Zake sending a direct message to dictator Museveni all right guys bye bye